Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to connect to the Oracle database and we will understand the concept of dnsnames.ora and listener.ora file. Listener.ora file is a configuration file for a listener and it is it resides mainly on database server and is located in Oracle Home Network Admin. dnsnames.ora is used for database connection it can decide on the database server or client application server so it and mostly it is used for the application connectivity the location of tns names to aura is is by default it is in oracle home network admin however if you have set the tns admin if you have set the tns admin then Oracle will look for the TNS names or a file in the variable environmental variable which is pointing to TNS admin. For some reason, if that directory does not exist, which is set to TNS admin, then it will think that the TNS names or a file does not exist. Even if the TNS names or a file is here, it will not look for this particular directory. So remember, if you set it make sure you create the tns name or a, or a file in the location which is specified tns admin if you don't use this particular variable then by default oracle will use you will look for that particular file in oracle home network admin now that we have understood the concept we i would like to explain that default port is 1521 for this particular port, you do not need any configuration in listener.ora, neither you need to set the local listener. So if you don't set the local listener parameter and if you do not set the, if you do not create the listener.ora file, then by default, when you use the command lsnrctl start, by default, it will start the listener with 1521. It will start the listener with 1521. So if you want to configure if you want to use the default listener you don't have to do any configuration at the at the database level neither at the listener.ora level now there are two ways you can do the registration listen the database has to database service has to register with the listener so there are two ways you can do that one is using the static registration which is done in the listener.ora so what you, you have to manually configure to the listener which instances it serves and you can have one listener serving multiple i'm not going to go into that particular detail it will be covered in part two but for now what i'll cover is like the the listener you can have you can have uh, you can create a listener and then you can give here sid list and here this listener name should match and this is the name oracle home and this is the seed name that you are giving and you are doing this in listener.ora and this concept is called static registration the dynamic registration works by pmon will register the uh, the database service with the listener by default it will register with 1521 however you can change it by setting the local listener parameter now local listener parameter can be set in two different ways you can either set the local listener with the port that it is listening on host name and port or you can do something like this you can set the listener prod you can create an entry in tns names.ora and then you can create an entry and then you can set the local listener as listener.prod so whatever entry you create here you, you can give the name of that entry in the local listener so you can set this so these are the options of dynamic registration now that we have seen all of the options let's go ahead and see uh, the tutorial so now what i've got here is here i'm trying to you can see i'm trying to create a connection this can be of your choice and i'm trying to connect to 101 so this is the ip and how do i find the ip so i can use if config grab inet and this will, will give me ip so 192.168.1 and if if config is not installed there are other ways just uh, search it in google or any of the search engines you will be able to find so 192.168.1.101 is the ip and i'm going to give that particular ip and i'm going to say 1521 which is the default port which is the default listener and if i'm trying to connect to the database called prod and i'll do the test and here you will see i'll get an error network adapter could not establish the connection the network adapter could not extend. and the reason of that is pretty simple the listener is run not running and i can verify that so let's use another command so the command for that would be netstat minus an give me all the ports which are listening and let's take if 152 anything with 1521 so i'm searching for 152 which means it should give me output of 1521 as well so you can see that this is not listening so what i'll do now i'll i'll go to the i'll set the environmental variable and i'll go to 
the Oracle Home Network Admin Sorry, and then what I'm here you can see I don't have listener.aura file. So under Oracle Home Network Admin, I don't have listener.aura. However, if I do if I run a command lsnr ctl start without specifying any name, listener name, if I just run this, then and if I enter this, you can see by default it started the port 1521. And now if I run the netted command, I should get the output and you can see I'm getting the output. So 1521 is now listening. Now if I go to the SQL developer and if I do the test and you can see now I'm getting a different error. Listener refused the connection, which means my database is probably not up or it is not registered with the listener. So there can be two things. So and you can clearly see the listener supports no services. So now you can actually verify this. Once the listener is started, you can use LSR CTL status command and you can see the listener supports no services, which means that 1521, there is no database which is registered. There is no instance which is registered with 1521. And that is the reason why we are not able to connect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to see if my database is up. So now to do that, I'm going to run ps minus ef grab pmon and you can see my database is not up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the environmental variable and then I'm going to start my database. And once the database is started, I'm going to show you parameter called local listener. So you can see show parameter local listener and it is currently blank. It is currently blank. However, even though local listener is not set. However, if I go here and if I do the test connection, you can see I am able to connect to my database. And now here, if I run this LSNR CTL status, you can see the pro database automatically got registered with my listener. So the pro database automatically got registered with my listener, which is wrestling on 1521. So the point that I wanted to make here is like, if you do not have listener.aura file, and if you do not set the local listener anything, and I've clearly shown it to you, local listener is currently blank. I do not have listener.aura file. And still, you can see I do not have the listener.aura file that is in the my Oracle Home Network admin. I don't have the listener.aura file. Neither I have local listener set. Still, without that, I'm able to make a connection. And you can see success. Now, the this is this is a dynamic registration, but automatically on 1521. Now, what what if the list what if the database was already up so what if the database was already up and then you stop then start the listener so if i say lsnr ctl stop and then if i do the start and then here if i say lsnr ctl status you can see listener supports no services the database is still up the database is still up you can see the database i did not stop it and if i do the test connection listener does not so now if I, if I, if the listener has already been started and sorry, if the database is already started and if you stop and start the listener and if the database does not register, then you can run a command alter system register. You can run this particular command alter system register. And then if I go back here, test, you can see success. Or now if I run LSNR CTL status, the prod got registered. So the point that I was trying to make here is like, if the listener is already up, and if you start the database, the database will register. But if the database is already up and the listener is stop and start, and if for some reason the database does not register, then you can use alter system register to register the database to the listener. Now we have understood this 1521 concept. Let's go to the static registration. So to do the static registration, we need to create the listener.aura entity. So what I'm going to do now, and here you can see this particular listener, there is no listener file. There is no listener configuration file. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop this listener. And then what I'm going to do, you can use a utility. You can use a utility called NetCA. So you can use a utility called NetCA. So here you can see there is no listener.aura file. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use, you can use a utility. So I'm going to export display. And you can't, if you can't have the GUI access, there is another way. And I'm going to show you to you that one as well. So give me a minute. 
So now if I run net CA and you can see this is the listener.configuration. So here I'm going to say and I'm going to before doing that, let me exit clear ls minus l. There is only one file. So what I'm going to do listener.configuration next add next listen 22. So I'm going to create a listener called listen 22 next TCP IP and I'm going to use a different port 1522 next and would you like to configure no next and next and finish. So this thing is going to do two things. It's going to create a listener called this one and it's also going to start listener. So you can see that it ran this particular command. So now if I run, if I run the command ls minus l, you can see listener.aura file got created. And if I take a look at that, you will see there is a list listener called listen22 that got created with the port 1522 because when we created listener, we said 1522. Now, this is just a plain, plain text file. So this is just a this is just a plain text file. So that if you if you can't get to the next CA, then all that you can do, and I'm going to copy this, I'm going to clear this, I'm going to remove the the I'm going to stop the listener. So LSNR CTL stop listen 22. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to make sure that it has been stopped. So net net stat minus an grab listen grab for 152. And I'm not getting any output. Vi listener dot aura. So it's still there. I'm going to quit this. I'm going to remove that particular file. Done. Ls minus L. There is no listener dot aura file. Vi listener dot aura file. And then add this entry. That's done. Save it. And then once you have saved, now I just created that particular file. So Netstat will still not give me any output. So now let's run the LSNR CTL start. So I'm going to take this command. It's good that Oracle has already <laughs> given me this command. So I'm going to start take this command. That's done. 1522 has started and I'm going to run this particular command. And you can see now my 1522 is up. So I've started, I've created a listener with 1522. Now, if I go to the SQL developer and if I go to the properties and if I change to, if I change to 1522 and if I say, prod if i say prod and if i do the test connection you can see listener diffuse the connection because because the, the 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 we have started the listener but listener supports no services so to fix this we have two options one is static registration one is dynamic registration let's understand the static registration first so to do the static registration what we need to do is we need to modify as you can see i clearly mentioned we need to modify the listener.aura file and in that listener.aura we need to create the list uh, this seed list listener entry so let's now go back to our listener.aura file so clear this vi listener.aura and here my listener name is listen.22 so i'm going to add an entry something like this So let's take this and here and I'm going to explain it to you. And you can see listen 22 matches to listen 22. So this remains constant. Sid list comma remains constant. You need to just change this. This is the Oracle home. This is the Sid name. And I'm going to save this. And then there are two options. Even, even after doing these changes, if I run the LSNR CTL status, listen 22, I will still get listener supports no services. We have two options. We can start and stop the listener or you can just reload the listener. So you can say LSNR CTL reload listener. And then if I now run status, you can see the prod has registered, which means I should be able to connect using the SQL developer. So now if I run the test, you can, I get a success. So this concept is called a static registration. So this concept is called a static registration. So now we have understood. So I'm going to clear, I'm going to delete that um, static registration entry. So here I'm going to VI this particular file. So this is the listener parameter file that it used. So I'm going to delete this static registration and to get rid of that. Uh, sometimes what happens that Oracle remembers all of this. So I'm going to stop the listener. Sorry, stop listen 22. I need to stop the listener. So that's stopped. And also I'm going to shut down and stop my database. So I'm going to make it clean. 
So we have stopped the listener. We have we are stopping and starting the database as well. So now in the listener.ora file, there is no static entry. There is no static entry. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start my listener. And then you can see list and let's see if the database started and the database is still not started. So it's getting started. Give it a minute. That's done. The database is open. Now, if I run lesson as CTL status, I should you see that my database is not registered. You can see the database is not registered. Listener supports no services. Even though I've started the database, I've started the listener. And if I try to do the test connection, it's going to fail. So because the reason is we have got rid of the static registration. We have got rid of the static registration because I wanted to show you the dynamic registration. So now let's, let's understand how the dynamic registration works. So the dynamic registration works in a two different ways. You can either set the local listener, either you can set the local listener or you can actually, you can actually set the, the you can set the, the, entry in tnsnames.ora and then you can whatever entry that you created and you can create any of this this is just a name you can give whatever name you want and you can set that name in the local listener these are the two options so let's do one by one so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back to the database show parameter local listener it should be blank it, this particular parameter should be blank so you can see it is currently blank The parameter is blank. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this to complete address. So 1522 with the IP and it is a dynamic parameter. So you can change this. So alter system set local listener, protocol TCP, IP address, port and scope is equal to both. That's done. Show local parameter. And you can see now I've got this particular parameter set. And if I now go and do the test connection, I got successful. So when I set that particular parameter automatically, the listener got the listener uh, the oracle automatically re registered with the with the dyna dynamically registered with my listener so when i set that particular parameter automatically the database got registered the instance got registered with my with my listener so that that is the dynamic registration now this is one option so i'm going to now clear that so i'm going to clear that entry so i'm going to run all of these commands so that's done and you can see i've cleared it and i'm going to sh again shut the database and start the database and then i'm going to here i'm also going to stop the listener just to just to get rid of um, just to get rid of all the bad entries so i'm going to start the listener that's done listener supports no services let's see if the database is started it's still mounting getting dismounted shut down let's give it a minute I'm starting the database. Local listener is currently blank. That's done. The listener, I'm going to start the listener as well. That's already started. Let's see the status. And you will see that right now it is saying state no services. And if I try to connect, I will not be able to connect. So now we will use the second method of creating an entry in the TNS name.ora and then setting the local listener. So how do I do that? So let, for that, you can see I do not have a I do not have the TNS name.ora. So I'm going to VI tnsnames.ora i'm going to create a file and then in that particular file i'm going to create an entry so listener.prod and this is your name you can give whatever name you want and you here i'm saying port 1522 i'm going to save this and then i'm going to go here and then i'm going to set the set the parameter alter system set and here, this particular parameter is one which is set, which is set here. So whatever is being set here, whatever is the name here, that name I'm putting in under the local listener, scope is equal to both. And when, and again, it will automatically register. If I do the test, it got successful. So this is the concept of, this is the concept of dynamic registration. So dynamic registration can be done using two ways. Now. I also wanted to show you something more. So if I go now, here is my windows box. And if we here, we all know, we all know how to set the connection. You can give whatever you want here, username, password. Here is the IP address. Here is the port. Here is the SID, or you can use the service name. You can, this we all know. There is another way of setting the connection in the SQL developer. What you can do is like, you can load a TNS file. And where is the TNS file? By default, it will be in the Oracle Home Network Admin. So first, 
will try to find out where is our Oracle home. So in Windows, you have to use the percentage eco Oracle home. So let's go to that location. So you can see it is C drawler, C drive, Oracle V19 database. So open Windows Explorer, put that location under that, go to the network and under that, go to the admin. And let's see if there is a TNS name dot aura. And you can see there is no TNS name dot aura. And as I told you that TNS, it is a, it is just a, okay. Why did I create a zip file? So it's, it's just a, it's a, just a text file. So let's create a TNS name dot aura file. And then once that file is created, it's empty. So let's add an entry. That's done. And then if I go here and if I say load TNS and if I, I'll go to that location, the dollar Oracle V19 database network admin and load this, click on open and you can see here it automatically created this. And if I click on this, your choice, if I put Oracle password and if I username as Oracle and put the password of Oracle and you can see I'm connecting and if I run select name from V dollar database, I should be able to connect to pro database so i should be able to connect to the pro database and here you can see here i gave anything your choice but here service name is prod and because i give prod when i got connected it got connected to the pro database so this is the this this is the way you can load a tns file in sql developer now i the if you wanted to do the remote connection you can do something like this so you can say sql plus oracle password at at your choice and when I run this command, your your choice, it is going to it is going to go to this your choice. It's going to go to this your choice. And from where it got the your choice, it got it from the TNS names dot aura. And then if I run the same command, although I said connect to your choice, but when if I try to see what database I'm connected to, and you will be able to see that I am connected to. And why did it not got copied? Copy. And you can see I'm connected to. So even though I said your choice. I got connected to the pro database. Now, what I what I'm going to show you to you now, I'm going to delete this TNS name dot aura file. So I've deleted it. And now if I exit and sorry, and if I exit and if I clear, and then if I say if I say SQL plus, you can see that I'm not able to connect. You I'm able because now it's it's hanging, and because it cannot find that, it cannot find this TNS name dot aura file your choice it cannot resolve this your choice so that is even though without tennis name dot aura file you can still connect to your database and the way to do that is you will you will use something like this and i'm going to show it to you so what what you are going to do is like i'm going to find so i'm going to clear this clear this cls and i'm going to minimize this and then what i'm going to run here is SQL plus and what I'm saying user is Oracle password of Oracle is password at this IP at port 1522 to the service name called prod connect to that. And if I run this, oh God, oh, sorry. For some reason I clicked up arrow and that went off. And if I run this, then you can see that I'm connected to the database which is hosted on my Linux box which is actually a prod database. So this is a method of connecting to your database without TNS name dot aura where you can specify the entire connection string. This is called easy connect method. This is called easy connect method. So we have learned a lot in this particular tutorial. I hope this particular tutorial was useful. After watching this particular tutorial, you will understand how to configure the TNS name dot aura, how to configure the listener dot aura the how what where is the tns name dot aura file where is the listener dot aura file what is the default port concept what is the static registration and what is the dynamic registration i hope this particular tutorial was useful thank you for watching see you in next tutorial till then enjoy and if you do like the video if you do like the content that i'm uploading make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel thank you and see you in next tutorial bye bye